Good morning. Welcome back to day three, Newfoundland Outsider. So today we're going to put in a new steel door for the cabin. I'm going to do some little touch-ups around the patio. And later on this evening we're going to go trouting, try another pond. We're going to have a beautiful shore lunch. So that's going to be great. Okay, so today's project it's to try and get a modern door to fit that hole. Uh, we might have to do some cutting, <laughs> either with the modern door or this hole or both. So if you're ever putting down moldings in a house or boards like this on a uh, on steps, a good way to get both ends really, really tight is to cut it just a little longer, maybe eighth of an inch or three sixteenths of an inch. <clears throat> and you put your ends down first. And because it's too long, it's gonna bow in the middle. So all you do is slap it down and it forces both sides out really tight against your wall over there. Good. 
Good. Good. Yeah, I'll make up the proper. Now, if you have one, drive down there for sure. Yeah. You can come up then. All the way up, yeah. Yeah, all the way up. And, uh, and that's it. And then put in two of your two by four. Yeah. See if it fits. Right the moment. Woohoo! Perfect job, buddy. Yes, boy. Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Number one. Okay, well, it's lunchtime, and today we're going to make keto, keto pancakes we're making today. I'll show you what we need to make them. First, we're going to clean our table here. Okay, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need some peanut butter, cream cheese, some eggs, salt, Vanilla extract or almond, whatever you like. Bit of olive oil and a little bit of baking powder. And when we're done today, we're going to use uh, Steve's no sugar added maple syrup and Denise's partridge berry and apple jam to go over top. Now, there's a great recipe online for this uh, keto pancakes. Tells you the exact amount you need to use and all that stuff. But that's not what we're doing here today. We're lumping it. And that's what you're supposed to do in the woods. And a little bit of peanut butter. Nice. You don't got scuff at the morning. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> <laughs> huh? Nice, we don't got scuff outdoor no more. Yeah, no scuff. Ah. Beautiful. Yeah, good job. Not ready to flip yet. Danny, you want your pancakes burned up a lot or a good bit? Don't care. <laughs> nah, they're not burned too bad. Oh, 
No, that's uh, iced tea. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hot one, did Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Huh? Hot one? No, no. Is that just ordinary tea bag? No, that's the uh, tip he makes them for ice. Oh. It must have been cold water. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Especially when customers are Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Salt and vanilla in mine and mm -hmm. almond, whatever. Whatever you're into. That is really good. You're not buying like a pancake, right? Mm-hmm. Pancake is tough. But he'll knock everything out the door. <laughs> Might drive you crazy. Oh. Okay, so uh, tonight we're trying to get to a new palm we've never tried before. Ah, but we ran into a roadblock. We're taking an old skitter trail through the back bush. And we came across a big hole. And it goes way, way down there. My Honda is too narrow to straddle it, actually. We're gonna chop a trail around, see if we can get around that bad spot. A little change on this one. made it down to the pond the trail was not nice I'm not sure we're getting back up the mountain <laughs> we'll worry about that later <laughs> man that was a rough trail well we're here we gotta try it We got a one trout. I oh, got my camera turned on in time. Oh, we're on the board anyway. Wow, I lost him. Oh, I gotta go in. I lost him and then I put my hook back. He came back, or his buddy came back. A little smaller run of trout than the other pond, but still really nice. Rocked there with very, very orange lichen on it. 
Wow. Don't see that very often. Very shallow, and very narrow passages. Well, we've been going for about an hour, hour and a half now. We got two trout, not really big, but they're nice trout. I'm not sure how Danny's doing, he's way down at the other end of the lake. So we're going to do this northern shore here. Whoop. I think we just want to ground. We're going to do all this northern shore here and go down and meet Danny. Another one. about our frying pan tonight so I think we're gonna have a couple trout to fry maybe we'll see Get a little bitter one oh that's a nice one whoa yep got him so far Look at that guy. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is sweet. A long, long time ago, the logging company came through here. And all these logs ended up here. That's very peculiar. Wow. Whoa. Had a nice one and lost it. Sweet too. I'm gonna get a really, really plump worm. Ooh. Got a nice one on. Come on, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. He's a crazy, yeah. Ah, oh, man. Mostly small ones in here. I guess like three or four small ones, and a really nice one. And rinse and repeat. So now we're going back over to the shore and have a shore lunch. Have a shore supper, actually. It's six o'clock. Danny got a nice trout on. Uh, oh, I see. See? Yeah, there's a nice trout. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice trout. Ooh, jeez. You got some good ones. We did okay. We got some fish, but it's a long, long hike in there for the amount of fish you get. Danny's struggling to get out of his boat. <laughs> huh? I said, I'm just going to chop all this off shore. What we're going to do now is we're going to pack up. We're going to go down 
uh, to the little valley there where there's a river and we're gonna have a supper. I say, yeah. What do you think? And the water, huh? Yeah. Like it, me, Bob. Yeah. Here flew up now. Yeah. The flicking. Worth the top is just it. Oh, I got this down that side now. What is it? Ooh, you need to knock it down. Perfect. Put in all the salmon you want.
Good morning. Well, it's been raining all morning, raining hard. So we're just relaxing into camp. It's day four. We gotta go out today. So we gotta work tomorrow. Okay, this morning I'm gonna show you how to make a pot of bologna stew. And uh, what you need is some bologna, onions, carrot, potato, and turnip. What you do is you fry out your onion in olive oil and tell me saute is really nice. Add some water, add your carrot and turnip at that time. Boil that for about 15, 20 minutes. And then add your bologna and your potatoes. When your potatoes are soft, your bologna is done. And then your stew is gonna be ready to go. Now some people like the stew to be like lots of juice in it. If you like that, don't boil it down so much. If you like it really thick like stew, just keep boiling it a bit longer until it's really thickened. So that's well, fifteen hundred dollars per year, right? So if you take that and you add on to it the grant that the federal government gives, and a lot of families for this are not even though it's not go since uh, two Application approval before even sending our cards to get printed. It affects the entire process. So the possibility alongside representatives of the Save Our People Action Committee for years so back loopholes within the workplace. Also, Donald Trump, he sure knows how to hold <laughs> Gladys Larch's licorice. <laughs> Lickery bone. That's all we don't have gravy either. With our <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> Good for you. Yeah. Okay, well that's it for this trip. The rain has not lit up today. So we got rained out anyway, so we enjoyed the morning in the cabin. And we're gonna pack up and go home now. But before we do, on Friday we caught some trout and I told you we're gonna pack them in moss and we'll see how we do before we went home on Monday. So as you can see, that's the one I caught on Friday. It's still really, really cold. He's perfectly preserved. And we'll just keep them in the moss until we get home and we'll freeze them. Well, that's it for us. Thanks for joining us with this little three-part series we made. After this, we're on to salmon fishing. because The rivers are open now and the Atlantic salmon are running. So I want to thank everybody for your time. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.